On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, we're hitting three system integrators with four different budgets to see who has the best system at each price point. All that and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds! This episode of System Integrators Weekly is sponsored by CDK Deals. CDK Deals is an online marketplace that specializes in discounted, genuine Microsoft licenses and game keys for several different platforms. My viewers can use code BRAY25 to get an additional 30% off, meaning you can get a copy of Windows 10 Pro for right around $15. Let's get a Windows key. We'll opt for Windows 10 Pro for the enhanced security features. CDK Deals offers an OEM license for a fraction of the price of a retail key. The difference with an OEM key is that you can only use it on one system, but that should be all you need. You will need to make sure you either have Windows 10 Pro already installed or you perform a fresh installation since OEM keys cannot be used to upgrade from Windows 10 Home if that's what you have installed currently. Here I use code BRAID25. Pay with your method of choice and once the payment goes through, click View Keys slash Codes. Click Get the Key and copy it. Then just go to your Windows search, type in ACT, ah, there it is. Click Activation Settings. My Windows install was already activated, so I'll be replacing that key, but yours should just say Activate Windows. Paste in the key, click Next, and Activate, and you're done. Thank you, CDK Deals, for continuing to support the channel. Hello, everyone. I am Brea Thorne. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly, where we're... You know what? No. No, I, I, I just... I can't. I don't have a joke. I got nothing. It's happening guys it is happening like tomorrow if you're watching this on the day that the video comes out which a lot of people do thank you guys by the way the giveaway pc is going to be announced monday february 28th and it's going to be the the drawing is going to be on artesian builds stream their live stream where they're going to be live building the giveaway pc on their twitch channel which is twitch.tv slash artesian builds. You gotta be there. It's gonna be around 6 p.m. Central Standard Time or 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time. I, I, I can't, I can't, I got nothing. I, I, I can't, why can't I hold all this excitement? It's really exciting and I really want you to be there. Finally, the long-term review of the iBuyPower system that was sent to me uh, a while back is now uh, is going to be going live. And uh, I think it came out pretty, pretty awesome. I, I hope it did. I haven't slept much, uh, so I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments on that video and um, let me know how you're doing in the comments on this video. How are you? It's been a while. I'm happy to see you. Anyway, the premise of this week's episode of System Integrators Weekly is actually fairly simple. Three different system integrators, four different budgets, and we're going to find four winners for each price point. We'll see how it shakes out. Before we get into that, a few quick disclaimers. This video is being recorded for Sunday, February 27th, 2022. Any pricing and availability that I show you here may not be reflected in actual availability and pricing if you watch this even a few days later, even the next day. That's how availability and pricing still is. It's been a volatile market, and although things are getting a little bit better, it's pretty slow to get better. The second disclaimer is that I'm going to be showing you stuff on, you know, screen here and uh, reacting to it, basically. So that means there are going to be some opinions flying around, just, you know, Watch your head. Uh, they're not going to hurt you. And if your opinions disagree with my opinions, let me know in the comments below or in the Discord link in the description below or on stream. Yes, I stream every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday at uh, 8 p.m. Central, around 8 p.m. Central over at twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. Lastly, of course, if you purchase anything, anytime, anywhere, you're taking a risk when you do that. The thing that you purchase may have issues. And at that point, you can get those issues fixed by the company from which you purchase it. This is why I tell you to purchase directly from the system integrator and not from a third party retailer. That way you're dealing with the people who built the PC that you bought. Uh, we've had some situations like that in the community, in the Discord community, and they've been rectified. So that is uh, how things work like this. So uh, just know you're buying at your own risk and uh, this is not financial advice or whatever. I'm just saying my opinions and what I think as someone who's been building computers for a very, very long time and in the IT industry for a very long time. So let's get into it. Now, what are the four budgets that we're working with? We're working with $1,000, $1,500, we're working with $2,000, and then question marks. That's what we've got. I'm gonna try to stick to about $100 variance down or up. Now, the three companies we're gonna be looking at is going to be iBuyPower, Build Redux, 
and Skytech. I don't think we've talked enough about Skytech. They're actually a pretty cool company. I don't know if you've seen, uh, they, they stream on Twitch and they like give a PC away every week. Thanks for making me feel like a lame for only giving one away, Skytech. Thanks a lot. But no, they actually have really entertaining streams. You guys should check them out. So starting it off with I buy power ready systems, we're going with the $1,000 budget and I'm trying to stick within $100. So why does this say $1,149? Well, the answer to that is that right now they actually have their deal where you can get $50 off any system over $1,000 with code RDY. Now for systems that are $2,000 or more, it is gonna be code uh, RDY100 for $100 off. Uh, the first system here is 1149. It features a Ryzen 5 3600, a B550 motherboard, an RX 6600 GPU, and dual channel 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 RAM. Now the storage is a bit light on this one. It's 500 gigs. Uh, in, a, in a single M.2 drive. However, because it's a full-sized ATX motherboard, you should have one or two extra M.2 sockets to add some low-cost, fast SSD storage for something like a large game library. You could even go with a 2.5-inch SSD. The thing is, the prices on M.2 drives did not shoot up into the stratosphere with all the stuff that happened with um, Keoxia and all that. So thankfully, it's still fairly inexpensive to get yourself a one terabyte M.2 NVMe drive. Now, this also has a 120 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. You don't really need that for a 3600. Or the other system here that's around the same price. Now, this one's gonna end up about 20 bucks over what I said with my $100 variance limit there. I know, but this one has a 12400F CPU, a Z690 motherboard, um, a GeForce GTX 1660 Ti, so a slower GPU, but the 1660 Ti and 1660 Super are still awesome budget GPUs. And now, of course, every single uh, ready system, all the way down to their $900 model, has dual channel 16 gigs of RAM. That's one thing I really like about these, and it's a value that you really can't deny. It's quite good. This also has a 500 gig M.2 drive. Now, why do I say that's not a whole lot? Well, consider that Call of Duty Warzone is over 100 gigs. Just that one game, and you have your operating system. But this one is also uh, on an, a 120 millimeter AIO. Now, of course, these cases don't have very good airflow. Watch the review that I put out for the um, Smurviger, uh, I forget what I called it, but you, these have weird names. This is the Slumbiga 215. Well, watch the review on the other system that I'm posting today or tomorrow, and you'll see what I did to solve the airflow problem and actually prove the airflow problem. So go check that out. Now let's move on to Skytech, see what they got in this price range. And they have the Kronos Mini. Already I can tell this thing has way better airflow. Now it doesn't have as good of a GPU. In fact, it's not as good as either of those GPUs. It still says 1660, but not Super or TI. It does have a 10400F, which still stands today as a great gaming CPU. And also let's recognize here that they're also using 16 gigs of DDR4-3200 in dual channel, just like iBuyPower is. This has a one terabyte NVMe SSD. Right there, one terabyte, double the storage, and a 600 watt 80 plus gold power supply. It has Wi-Fi included. These two actually don't seem to have Wi-Fi included. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't need Wi-Fi or get yourself an add-in card of your own. So, I, I, you know, we'll come back to this. We'll, we'll see how it, how it measures up to the other ones. And then we're looking at this Build Redux system here. Now, Build Redux, again, is, is kind of the outlier here, perhaps. I'm not sure how long it takes. Again, I'm not sure how long it takes to get that SkyTech system. But Build Redux, uh, as far as we've seen recently, will take you about three weeks to build the PC for you and send it out. Now, this one has an Intel Core i3-10300. And uh, that's, uh, and then it has the GeForce GTX 1650. It's a fine entry level card. It is a budget card. Um, just know that the 1660 Ti or the uh, RX 6600 are gonna get you closer to what you're picturing. When you picture a gaming PC experience and the gameplay that you can enjoy. These are all 1080p systems though. Keep that in mind. If you're looking to go 1440p gaming, higher resolution, high refresh rate, uh, these are not gonna be the systems for you. And if you're at this budget point, you'll wanna save up some more. Remember that that is always a choice. You know, wanting it now doesn't mean it's the best idea to get it now because a PC is an investment. However much you spend right now is going to be invested into years of a gaming experience that you want to enjoy. 
Now, this one also has 16 gigs of dual, dual channel DDR4 memory, 500 gigs uh, M.2 drive, that's their minimum. Now, the case is awesome because it's a Cooler Master TD500 RGB, total of five fans, including the one on the cooler, and they're all RGB and it's very high airflow, but of course it is. You can't change any of that. You're literally stuck making those choices, so you can't get a cheaper case, which is what some of these other ones benefit from. Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo is a great uh, cooler though, it really is. Uh, this one comes with Wi-Fi included right there. It is B460 chipset right there. Now that is our $1,000 budget handled. We'll come back and find a winner at the end of the video. Let's move on to $1,500. And of course, we're starting the same order with the iBuyPower Gaming Ready Slahibag 207. And this one has a Core i5-12600KF, a Z690 motherboard, which uh, we'll get to that. A GeForce RTX 3060 12 gig uh, GPU and a uh, 16 gigs DDR4 3200. So it's 12th gen, like the 12400 system was, 12th gen with DDR4. That's kind of where it's at right now if you want 12th gen and you're not kind of stratospheric on your budget. This one has a one terabyte M.2 drive. It is a 30 series GPU with a 3060. That is still more focused on 1080p gaming, but it can do 1440p gaming just with lower settings than the 3060 Ti. But internal wireless network, it says PCIe or onboard wireless network, so it says it has it. Now, at this price point though, there are two systems. The other one is very similar to the one that I just reviewed. AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, B550 AC, Wi-Fi motherboard, and the RTX 3060 Ti. 16 gigs of DDR4, 3200 megahertz, RGB RAM, one terabyte M.2 drive, and yeah, uh, the 120 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. It's even the same case right here. Interesting results on the thermal testing for this case. You might be surprised at the results. You should check that out. Now, this is a really close one. If you wanna know what I picked between these two, stay till the end of the video, because I do have an interesting conclusion on this. And then we have the Skytech uh, Azure. Inwin makes some interesting looking cases. And the interesting thing about them is they look like they don't have airflow, but they actually do. This one actually has uh, openings in the bottom, places to mount fans for bottom intake. And you have side intake as well, although I believe they probably set it up as side exhaust, but that's four screws. You take out four screws, flip the fan around and put the four screws back in and bam, you have side intake like is what I usually recommend. Now the components here are similar to um, the one over I by Power, where you've got the Ryzen 5 5600X, uh, cooled by a Wraith Spire cooler. Uh, it's got three RGB fans, so they're gonna populate the two side spots and the rear right there uh, on a B550 motherboard. And uh, you got the RTX 3060 Ti. You, have, you do have a one terabyte M.2 drive here, uh, 650 watt 80 plus gold power supply, with, which with the 5600X and the 3060 Ti should be just fine. Estimated ship time, nine to 17 business days, but if there's a little secret, like da -da 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 -da, delivery may take up to an additional five business days. That's not too bad. And over at Build Redux, guess what? Guess what case this comes in? Cooler Master TD500. It's on a Z690 motherboard. It's a 12600K with an RTX 2060. Still a great GPU. Don't, don't sleep on the 2060 if, you're look, if you have the option between 2060 and 3060. There's not as much difference between the two as you might think. One terabyte M.2 drive, and of course you get the same Cooler Master Hyper 212, and a 600 watt ATX 80 plus gold power supply. So, how will these shake out? We'll find out soon. Moving up to two grand. Here, this system, the Slubber, Slubber. Well, you know what, let's pretend it's a U, the Slubber 201. Uh, it's got a Core i7 12700KF. CPU, a Z690 motherboard, and an RX 6700 XT. DDR4 3600 RGB RAM, that's faster RAM, it's 16 gigs of it. And a one terabyte M.2 drive with a 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, which of course, 12700K, that's a good idea. Every system integrator is gonna have their caveats. Their little, their little uh, uh, idiosyncrasies that make them uh, different, pros and cons, things like that. I buy power to get the best performance on this system, you're gonna have to pull off that front panel. Trust me, I proved it. Go watch my video where I proved that. Uh, moving on here, this 6700 XT and the 12700 KF are powered by a 650 watt 80 plus gold power supply. My only concern there is how power hungry the higher end 12th gen K SKU processors like 12700 and 12900K can be. They can draw a lot of power for as long as they want. No time limit on turbo boosting of the clocks anymore. 
okay? So that can be a little demanding on a power supply. So just consider that you might want to swap that out at some point. I think you guys should take these and upgrade parts here and there anyway. But yeah, this one also has a 1200 KF, but it has an RTX 3070. And in my mind, to my mind, the 3070 outpaces the 6700 XT pretty easily. There's a lot more you can do with the 3070, and I have personal experience with that. So does Cuddles now, because he has the 3070 that I had. And I was able to game, edit video, stream, all of those things on a 3070. It was awesome. So that's two options from iBuyPower at this price point. The thing is, 650 watts is the minimum power supply that NVIDIA recommended when they released the 3070. That was way before 12th gen Intel came out. And the 12700K is way more demanding than the i7 was previously. So another situation where you can just upgrade the power supply later on yourself, and uh, there you go. Now let's look at SkyTech, see what they got right here. What they got is a uh, the Kronos, of course, high airflow, we love that. Okay, so now we're looking at full ATX motherboard. This one has a 5600X again, and a uh, Wraith Prism cooler, which can totally handle a 5600X easily. Especially if you have a meshed fronted case like this that is providing a lot of fresh air to that tower cooler. Okay, so it's B550 motherboard. If you're just gaming, this is probably a great system for you right here. Uh, although it is also a 6700 XT, you know, and a one terabyte Gen 4 M.2 drive. Good on you guys. Nice. 650 watt, 80 plus gold. Uh, with the 5600X, no concerns with that. And with the uh, 6700 XT, you're all good here. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi included, and uh, we're looking at exactly $19.99 here, and 99 cents. Uh, let's look at the Build Redux option here, and this budget is where Build Redux really starts to shine. Okay? 12700K, right? And a 3070. Dual channel memory, 16 gigs, one terabyte M.2 drive. Uh, you have a 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, a high airflow case, of course, TD500. 850 watt power supply. They didn't have to do that, they done did it. That's great for this, that's 200 watts over what is necessary for a 3070 by NVIDIA's previously released uh, recommendations. So you have 200 watts to overclock your 12700K on that Z690 motherboard. I will mention something really important here. First off, I can't actually give you links for Build Redux systems. It has a thing to save a link, it never works for me. Um, but all of these are set up with the option to remove the operating system with no software support. It saves you $109. Then you turn around and rewind to the beginning of this video where we had the sponsor spot and you can get a copy of Windows for 15 bucks to $20, depending on the version that you need. I wanted you to know that for every Redux system, that's an option that I chose just because it saves so much money and I have a great option for you guys through CDK Deals who has been supporting the channel for a very long time now. Now that we've taken care of these budgets, we're gonna move on to the ridiculous budget. And we're going to a budget of well over $3,000. One of my favorite cases of all time. Fun fact, this is what the giveaway PC is being built into, except the white version. The Lian Li Lancool 2 Mesh. Amazing airflow, and man, did they ever pack this thing up with cooling. So let's get into it. This has 12900KF CPU a Z690 DDR5 motherboard, DDR5, GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. They don't just put any DDR5 in this. This is DDR5, 6,000 megahertz, 32 gigs of it, with, two, with a two terabyte M.2 NVMe drive, and a 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, and they packed this thing with fans. I mean, 360 millimeter radiator with push-pull fans, meaning there's fans pushing air through the radiator and fans behind it pulling it through, on 360 millimeters of radiator, plus two exhaust fans on the top, one exhaust fan on the back. But we do come to the problem here, the one problem here, because before, last week, they didn't have the, the power supply ratings listed. I don't know if they saw my video, because they actually have told me they watched my videos. I don't know if they saw that, and they were like, oops, that was actually just a clerical error there. We're gonna get that fixed up. These things happen. These websites, like these massive websites, are really hard to manage. And some of these are new, and sometimes some, some fields don't get filled out. No problem. The problem, though, is that what they put in is a 750-watt power supply. That's the minimum recommended power supply for a 3080 Ti. Also for a 3080, which uses less power. And that was well before 12th Gen Intel came out. And this is a 12900KF. 
yank out this power supply immediately, get yourself a thousand watt power supply or more. Now build Redux, of course, is uh, actually coming in quite a bit cheaper here. Uh, in the high end is where Build Redux shines, except for the fact that they still go with a lower end motherboard. But this is $3749 minus $100 with code RDY100. So that $3649 versus $3438. 12900K, not KF. 3080 Ti, 32 gigs DDR4 dual channel memory, but that is DDR4. That's a big cutback on price and pretty much explains the entire price difference of $300 right there. Z690 motherboard, and it's gonna be there, you know, it's gonna be the prime Z690P. But the 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler is quite a bit less um, thermal capacity than the 360 millimeter AIO, but they do set it up for push-pull, so that is good. And a two terabyte M.2 drive, and a two terabyte uh, hard drive, which you can remove if you don't want hard drive storage. I just figured something like this is gonna be good for content creation. In this one, I went ahead and just included Windows 11. You can take that off to save $100 and get $15 or $20 key right there. Still though, it's a compelling deal and you can take like 200 bucks off of this easily. Now let's look at what uh, Skytech has to offer. Okay, we've got two systems that I'm looking at here. Now the first one here, I, I know it's only 12600K, but it is also cheaper than both of the other options. $29.99 and it comes with a 30 80 and 32 gigs of DDR5. So there are some, there's just different, the money is just shuffled around to different things. And for a gaming computer that you want to game at up to 4K, because it's a 3080, and, and basically an 011 type case, it's a metallic, metallic gear Neo Cube from Fantex, okay? 360 millimeter AIO, and nine fans in there, and a better motherboard, looks like. Yeah, this is a fantastic option. And of course, if you decide to later on, you could always get yourself a 12900K if you ever decide that you need it because you wanna get into content creation. This right here, 12600K for gaming, all you need, you're good to go. But yeah, this is a rad system. The only thing that they're a little behind on here is the fact that it's a 12600K. If you go to DDR4 and switch to a 12700K, this should stay around the same price, if not even less. So that's my suggestion right now. This is one where I can't give you a clear winner and this is up to you. If you want to stream, if you want to get into streaming, do not go with a system that has the RX 6600. Does it have better gaming performance in, in, in a lot of games than the 1660 Ti? Probably, yeah, and I believe it does. However, the 1660 Ti can do it all. It has the same Turing-based NVENC encoder as a 3090 does. And its 1080p performance is still fantastic. So if you wanna get into streaming or any kind of thing where you need video encoding of a higher level than what the RX 6600 could do, you wanna go with this one right here. And remember also that you get 50 bucks off of both of these, but this puts it at 20 bucks above. It's basically 1120. Now, if you want to get this one right here, because you know all you're gonna do is gaming, remember that you're not getting 12th gen Intel with this. I would say though that one of these two is gonna be the winner. If you wanna get into streaming at all, go for this one right here. If you want to just game, the 3600 can still game. Getting onto the $1,500 price range is we got the 12600 KF 3060 combo or the 5600X 3060 Ti combo or the 5600X 3060Ti combo from Skytech, and the Build Redux system has a 12600K and a 2060. So, so between the two, I would actually say that the Skytech one is gonna be the better option. Uh, 5600X, I would, I, it just kept, it's no surprise to me because I already liked the 5600X, but like, it still was legitimately surprising. Like, man, this thing is just kicking butt when I was testing it. So. Dual channel memory, 3060 Ti, one terabyte M.2 drive for both, uh, 650 watt, 80 plus gold on both of them. And um, yeah, I think this this one is just a better value proposition right here. So yeah, winner, Skytech. There you go, congratulations guys. Now I wanted to give this one to iBuyPower um, just because uh, the value proposition plus the $50 off is nice. However, 650 watt power supply is the minimum of what you wanna use with this 3070, as I said before, and that 12700KF is hungry. It wants a lot of power. Build Redux uses an 850 watt, 80 plus gold power supply, and um, you can swap memory super easily. It's a little bit, it's more work to get your, and more expensive to get a bigger uh, PSU. So that's the way to go there. 12700K, not KF, that is, there is a benefit there, especially if you wanna do streaming. Uh, higher airflow case and a 
awesome case as well. This thing just wins and it's only $13 over the pro over the $2,000 mark. So there you go. Now let's talk the big bucks. Who uh, wins this one here? So this is a ready system that's pretty awesome. The fact that you get $100 off with code RDY100 means you can put that towards a, a more, a, you know, a, a power supply that's more suited to the task of powering a 12900KF and a 3080Ti. Uh, Build Redux really lets loose here though. And of course we can bring it down by about 150 bucks if you take Windows off of here and go for a non hard drive storage option, just a two terabyte M.2 drive. I'm gonna give Skytech some more time on getting their 12th gen stuff sorted out. I just feel that 12th gen is usually the way to go if it's a better uh, price option if you're trying to match up between Intel and AMD right now price wise the clear option is Intel So that's it. Those are my winners guys and uh, links will be in the description below except for Build Redux. I haven't tried it. I'm gonna try it if it works I'll put the link down there go check them out see which one works for you And if none of them work for you come by the stream uh, if you're watching this on Sunday I will be streaming at around 8 p.m. Central Standard Time twitch.tv slash Brayathorn every Sunday Tuesday Thursday Come hang out, it's a really good time. And don't miss the Artesian Builds stream tomorrow, Monday the 28th, it's around 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Be there and make sure if you haven't already entered the PC giveaway, enter the PC giveaway. I wanna give you a PC if I can. Like the video if you liked it. Uh, hit the, the thing, the thing, thumbs up. And um, yeah, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe. It's been an incredible run and it's only gonna get better. So get subscribed, join the Discord, integrate into the community as if you were a system, a system, system integrator. Weekly is the name of the show. All right, guys, check out the new video of the review. I have a power review, comes out today or tomorrow. Be sure to watch that. Um, interesting stuff. Anyway, I'll see you guys tonight on stream. And until then, take care.